guys so i'm hosting a party for new year's eve which is tomorrow guys can we believe that 2023 is literally here when you watch this vlog 2023 will literally be here we'll be in 2023 so it's crazy 2022 has been amazing so yeah i'm throwing a party me and melanie my cousin slash flatmate at throwing a party she's not here right now but yeah we just had a huge delivery of groceries for the party so i just kind of wanted to unpack the groceries with you guys and show you what we got so i didn't basically want to cook a whole last meal for the people at the party because personally i don't have time for that okay but i just thought we're gonna need like little nibbles little bites that kind of thing so i basically got just like party food that you can just pop into the oven that's my vibe for the party so i got like things like mac and cheese bite i got prawn tempeh Pura, which are so good like they're basically like prawns which are in batter oh my god so good duck spring rolls chicken skewers i also got some cupcakes little sweet treats and then got loads of drinks we have some martini prosecco this is the best the most yummiest prosecco that there is we got a whole bunch of soft drinks loads and loads and then we also got this strawberry daiquiri cocktails so yeah that's pretty much my little haul it doesn't feel like a lot of stuff but anyway to be honest i've told people do not come hungry like just know i'm only providing little bites so that's my vibe for the party but yeah i'm really excited so the groceries have arrived my next step is going to be like deep cleaning this house which is always so much fun yeah we've got like decorations and stuff that have arrived for the party but i'll probably show you guys those tomorrow as we like put them up but i'm really really excited i also need to get my nails done tomorrow morning ready for the party because you can't go to a party and the host has nails like oh my god that's so bad when that went into focus so bad guys they're really awful because i got gel nail polish i actually talked about it in like one of my last vlogs i was like i'm a bad b i'm gonna be a natural nail girly so i got gel nails like hard gel nails and guys why did they break off one by one by one all of them broke and literally you could not even tell that i used to have white tips initially this set had tips but you can't tell because all the tips are broken out stunning so i just don't think i can be a natural nail girl you know i think i need to just go back to acrylics because what what in the world like what is going on my friends told me about like buy ab to buy ab nails are good but i don't know if my nail shop does it and i don't want to change nail shop because i really love them so yeah i have to go back to acrylics tomorrow but yeah the mission for the rest of the evening is going to be tidying up also my fiance is coming over and we're going to have a bible study tonight that's going to be really cute second hello okay so i'm not doing bible study anymore so yeah for the rest of the evening guys i'm just gonna clean my house i do have to eat dinner so i'm gonna eat dinner watch nine to i know because at this point inject into my veins guys why am i addicted to this show <laughs> I watched Nine to I Know the first time around when it like first came out and I think I was like 12 years old and I was so obsessed with the show but now it's like the reruns are obviously on TV. The other day I was like let me just re-watch it, relive my youth and guys it's so good, I love it. Like comment down below guys if you are a Nine to I Know watcher, if you watched it when you were young, if you rewatched it since. Guys why is it still this good like 15 years later, like it's still so good. So yeah I'm gonna eat dinner and watch Nine to I Know and then my mum is so cute guys mom literally just comes around and cooks dinner for me like she is such an angel so she did that she cooked dinner for me yesterday so today i'm just eating the food that she made shout out to all the amazing moms out there you guys are what keep the world spinning so yeah i'm gonna eat some dinner my mom made me some mash some chicken wings that's what i'm gonna eat eat up and then we can start being mean with the maid and cleaning update you guys when i start cleaning done my bathroom and my bedroom it looks 
lovely and clean in there. I now have to do my living room. To be fair, there's not that much to do in here. I should be done in like 30 minutes. But guys, I just had a realization hit me. I'm literally spending hours cleaning in here. But I know for a fact, after this party, it's gonna be a huge mess all over again. <laughs> so essentially what I'm doing is pointless because I'm cleaning just for it to get messed up. But yeah, I guess I can't really welcome guests to my house being a big fat mess. Guys, imagine like all my guests came in and I'm like, welcome guys. And then they're like, oh, you're not gonna tidy up? I'm like, no, I just thought I'd leave it like this because you know, it's just gonna get messy anyway. They'd be like, um, <laughs> my friends would be so puzzled. So yeah, just gonna clean it for it to get messy again. But we're here, let's just keep on going. Happy New Year! Guys, it's gonna be 2023 in a matter of hours and it's very exciting. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, today is the party day. Today's day of the party, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun and I've got quite a few things to do today. Guys, when I woke up this morning though, I was so happy I tied in my house last night. Like, there's quite a few times when I host. My flat is quite like a hosting house like a lot of the time my friends come from other cities like i'm just the hostess with the mostest you know actually i'm the hostess i don't know if i'm the mostest <laughs> but um yeah usually on those days i tidy like on the day and then i just never get it done in time it's just it's just never cute but i'm so happy i did it last night a little bit tired today but we boo first things first though guys today i have to oh yeah by the way i just injured myself i was like panickingly looking for my tripod because i couldn't find it and then i just don't know how i did this i shoved one of my drawers was closed but my hand was still at the bottom of it so i literally trapped my hand in the door and the pain ah, it was insane i looked down at my hand and it was like pouring with blood so that's a nice little start to my little new year's eve <laughs> but yeah first things first guys today i'm actually gonna create some bridesmaids boxes to give to my bridesmaids to ask them will you be my bridesmaids a couple of weeks ago i gave the first box away to my best friend because she doesn't live in this country she lives in dubai so i kind of wanted to give hers to her before she like traveled away so i gave hers it was so cute like, so i only bought one just to give to her but then when i went to go and buy more of the boxes from etsy the seller was like they're not selling them anymore they're having a break and i was like okay but i need them to give to my bridesmaids so then i decided just to make them myself and also it's a lot cheaper doing them myself because that box that i bought it was basically like a little personalized like bracelet box with her name on it and then inside was a bracelet that has a knot on it i think i'll maybe insert a video of it on the screen so yeah it's basically that and it was really really nice but i realized making it myself works out a lot cheaper so i just ordered the boxes from this random box website i just printed off the piece of paper myself it says will you be my bridesmaid so these boxes we're gonna make them together oh yeah and the bracelets as well i got them from amazon for a really really good price oh yeah and the amazon ones actually came with little tags which said i can't tie the knot without you it's cute but it's just a bit it's a bit mumsy so then that's why i made my own piece of paper so yeah i'm just gonna make them and then we're gonna give it to them today okay so let's make these boxes guys so i've got one box like this actually really cute and so yeah these are the bracelets how adorable are they guys i really love these it literally looks like the bracelet that i'm already wearing so you know so you already know that it's my style but like the bracelets just come like this they're like oh, let me put it on the wrist that i don't have the fun you just pop it on and then they're also adjustable so you can just like squeeze it to make it like tighter so it can fit on everyone's wrist so you just like squeeze it to make it tighter or loose so that's the vibe how cute so everyone on the wedding day is gonna be like wearing it all together and it's just gonna be so cute um so yeah let's make the box okay super simple i just printed out everything that says we'd be my bridesmaid so i'm just gonna literally cut them out 
I made some that said maid of honor and some that made bridesmaids. I also gave the two maid of honors already to my sisters, grats and gorgeous. Basically, I didn't want them to suspect it because like I just wanted to kind of catch people off guard. So then I actually gave it to them on Christmas day. So I just gave it to them like, oh, here's a present I got for you. And then they were like, okay. They opened it and they were like, oh my God, yes, Sophia, maid of honor. Oh my God, my sister Gratzy was like, oh my God, I didn't think you'd have me as your maid of honor. And I was like, of course. To be fair though, even when she got married, I didn't think she'd have me as her maid of honor. I just, I didn't expect it, surprisingly, even though we're like twins. I don't know, I just didn't guess it, I guess. So yeah, I printed them off to kind of like fit the size of the box. So I'm just gonna cut each one out individually. This is very like, serious stuff so guys i'm literally having like nine bridesmaids <laughs> so yeah it's quite a few girls but just felt like everyone that i'm choosing they're just all my people they're just all my girls and i just can't tie the knot without them which is exactly what this thing says can you guys see guys the blood is starting to creep through this tissue <sighs> <sighs> I'm so injury prone. But anyway, I wasn't sure in the beginning like how many bridesmaids to have, like who I would have. And to be fair, I never thought I'd have this many bridesmaids. I kind of just thought I'd have like, I don't know, six or just less, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, but then now I'm having nine. I'm just like, it just makes sense. Like they're just all my favorite people. If you guys are like, you know, watchers of the vlogs, you would have seen all the nine girls in my vlogs because I'm always with them. They're my favorite people. So it just makes sense to have them as my bridesmaids. I'm so excited and I feel like each one of them are just gonna like bring a different vibe like and it's gonna make my day so special and they just they just literally want the best for me do you know when you just have people who just literally want the best for you these are all the girls that I'm choosing as my bridesmaids so I'm so excited to have them as my bridesmaids I was kind of going backwards and forwards for a little while like what should I do as like a bridesmaids proposal I guess because people do different things people do like gift bags with like loads of goodies in it I feel like each time I've been bridesmaids that's been my oh that fits perfectly now so it says that in there can you guys see it so it's like, I couldn't tie the knot without you. Will you be my bridesmaid? And then I'm gonna place this bracelet inside. But I'm not gonna just let it hang. I'm basically gonna just like sellotape it to the top. I've got my little handy tape here. Also, cause it's New Year's, I don't think that anyone's gonna expect it today. One of my friends, Havana, like she's been so helpful already. She's been sending me like bridesmaids dresses. She's sending me all this stuff. And I'm just thinking to myself, oh my God. I wonder if she's like expecting it. I wonder if she thinks it's coming or not. Oh, Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, that looks so cute. <laughs> so when they open it, it's gonna be like that. I couldn't tie the knot without you. Will you be my bridesmaid? Guys, that's freaking cute. And then I close the box. And then I'm gonna tie a really cute little bow around it. I think that's quite cute guys. Just gonna cut off the excess ribbon. That is actually quite cute. How would you guys feel if you received this as a bridesmaid's request? Hello, will you be my bridesmaid? Quite cute, right? Yeah, so one down. I only have six more to go. Oh my gosh, it's raining, yuck. Guys, going outside when your hair is straightened is not fun. I'm gonna have to put a hat on. <laughs> one down. Okay, gonna make the rest. While I watch Nine Antonio, because what else would I be watching? Let's face it, <laughs> we're getting to a really juicy part. Let's just say some drama's happening with Naomi, but Naomi is the drama. Like, pff, what I'm seeing about this show is just Naomi is just the most problematic babe to have ever existed on the face of the earth. To be fair, I think she has like issues. Like now you watch this as an adult, you're like, this person has issues, like serious, deep psychological issues. But yeah, I'm just gonna make the rest of these and I'll update y'all when it's done. Okay guys, I'm done. And look how cute they are. I have six. How adorable, guys. I'm actually really happy with my handiwork. Proud of myself. So yeah, this is where my brain is gonna get. It actually looks quite professional. If I do say so, my damn self. But yeah, now we have to run a million and one errands. So 
so let's go so we are now on the move guys i've got my cap on i realized i haven't worn a cap in so many months it feels so weird but yeah it's just so my hair doesn't get wet hey guys so guys my first stop is poundland i'm basically trying to get some like little sparkly additions for the table that is my mission that is why i'm here i've got some feathers from amazon and i want to create kind of like a bouquet but like with black feathers i feel like that'll be quite fun but i kind of also want to get some more sparkly things and i also want to see if i can get black tablecloths because our theme is black and silver oh i just saw these but i think they're too christmasy so i found the party aisle and this is kind of the vibe that i want I don't even know if it's actually like cute or not. But I feel like it might add a bit of a je ne sais quoi. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get two of these. Oh my gosh, guys, I completely forgot that I bought balloons. So I've just been chilling today and I forgot that I'm gonna have to blow up about. To be fair, I didn't, but I don't have that many. I've got like 30 balloons. So yeah, that's my task when I get back home. Um, there's some napkins here, but it'd be nice to have black napkins. Oh, these have got stars on them. I don't know if they're cringe. And that's not a lot for a pound. Whereas, here yeah, you get loads. <laughs> yeah, let's get the let's get the more cost-effective option. Oh my god, I even forgot. I'm gonna need like trays for my food. Okay, this is cute. I'll get these. So my initial plan was to find black, but we have silver tablecloths. So I feel like that will still be a vibe because the theme of everything is black and silver. So there's two in here. That should be enough. Guys, I've also picked up some sweet chili crisps and some sweets to like put in a bowl. This is actually gonna be enough. I swore, I praise the Lord, the break, the law, I take the swine, the take some more. It rains, it pours, oh, it rains, it pours. She came, I came, that was my name, my name. Hey guys, so I'm back from all of the errands that I was running. Now, some of the girls are here for the party. So yeah, right now I have to transform my apartment and make it look like a New Year's Eve vibe. That's the vibe. Um, I've got quite a few decorations. I'm hoping it turns out cute. I've got some assistants with me. What's, what's gonna be my assistant for the evening? But yeah, let's do this. Let's decorate. planning the party decorating has been utter chaos why does time just run the heck out the party was supposed to start roughly around nine but currently it's like 9 30 and as you can see i don't have makeup on my face <laughs> and a few people have arrived but that's okay they can just chill while the host gets ready but yeah i'm really gonna transform really quick okay i'll see you guys when i look like a baddie in three two one and she's ready oh she's giving feathers and sparkles yeah, this is the look, honey. I'll give you guys a full head to toe moment. My room is <laughs> looking so crazy because like six girls got ready in here. But yeah, let's get ready to celebrate 2020. Right. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the party spot. I think we did a good job with the decorations. To a happy new year, more blessings, more favors. Um, those who are looking for new jobs, meet you find them. Those who are looking for love, meet you find them. 
the most magical year of your lives i hope i pray that this year is going to be beautiful for you i pray that everything that you, your heart's desire you're going to get it this year i pray that everything that's not for you you will not get it but everything that's for you you will get it and that is my prayer for you thank you so much for watching this video it literally means the entire world to me thank you so much for your support the past few years i've been on youtube the love that i feel from all of my like people who watch my videos is overwhelming thank you to everyone that's a part of this journey thank you to nasa my editor you know how much love i have for you an absolute queen thank you to my friends my family everyone who made 2022 the year that it was guys so excited 2023 i can't wait we're gonna have so much fun but yeah guys i just had to do that prayer real quick for you guys because it's 2023 right now we're having such a fun time at this party i'm so happy that we actually threw it last minute because my sister was supposed to throw a new year's party but last minute she kind of was like we're not really on it we want to kind of chill so me and melanie were like we'll throw it and we threw it together last minute and it has turned out so much fun all my people are in the room more people are coming because a few people were at church for the crossover into the new year but yeah guys i kind of want to add to the good vibes and ask my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids but i don't know how i'm gonna do it i don't know if i should do it tonight or do it tomorrow i feel like if i do it tonight it'll make the night even more special for them and for myself but i just don't know how i'm gonna do it i don't know how i'm gonna pull them away from everyone i don't know if i should do it in the bathroom and ask them to like come into the bathroom with me okay i don't know but the night has turned out so fun what an amazing new year guys so grateful to god so happy so content let's carry on celebrating let's go okay my mask is on i just did the two it went so well they screamed they were so happy i'm gonna try and catch the third one on camera when i ask havana i'm just gonna pull and be like babe i've got a christmas present for you okay hopefully you guys can see it okay i think i'm gonna try and do it right now she's with her man so it's a bit difficult but let's see if we can do this so I got you. Surprise! Oh, you're so cute, girl. So cute. Here, okay, take this. Yeah. What are you this? doing this? Hello. What are you? Ooh, Ooh it's nice, right? Ginger beer. This is um, the Havana Sam special. It is rhubarb gin with ginger ale. Oh my god, so good. Grandy, don't make me proud. It's in this. <laughs> I was calling people saying Happy New Year. You know what I'm gonna cry? I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Will you? Yeah, of course. I was like, I couldn't I couldn't have the nut without you, baby. I would never this ever is wish. So cute. To have the nut without you there. So, so yeah, the reveal went well. Wait, so did you know it was coming? What did you think was in there? Did you guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was yeah. like, what else would it be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, oh, Granny's proposing to me. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh.
and faithful oh all my life you have been so so hello beautiful, hello beautiful people it's the first of january guys i'm getting married this year how crazy is that i probably said that last night as well but i'm getting married this year i'm never gonna stop saying it. i'm getting married this year <laughs> but yes the first of jan went to church this morning it was lovely right now we are cleaning up the flat so grateful for all my friends who stayed over they've helping me clean me and melanie clean and it's oh my god they're saving our lives because when i woke up and saw the mess it just made me rethink everything but yeah have me clean currently and then we're gonna have a little brunch so yeah this is the brunch vibe um but yeah guys this pretty much brings me to the end of the vlog we've just been chilling eating relaxing um yeah it's just been a lovely start of the year i'm so excited for what this year has to come has to Spring. thank you so much guys for being on this journey with me i really appreciate you guys for watching and if you stay till the end of the vlog make sure you comment this emoji and then i'll know that you are a real one okay <laughs> thanks so much guys for watching love you all wishing you the most incredible 2023 ever this is your year love you so much life, Bye. you have been faithful oh all my life you have been so, so